Question 219. What is the biggest creature that you have ever had to get out of your house? Mm. Oh, I, 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 so, so. There's a drunk 25 <laughs> young man trying to this wall. <laughs> no. Pets don't Dave, count either. Sorry again? Dave, Dave, can we do the opposite as well? What, the largest ones that you had to get in? Yes. Yes, that's acceptable. Because, because so, uh, the house that I still own in town, uh, when we moved there, we picked out a bed out of a catalog, which is a terrible thing to do, because when the bed arrived, it apparently wasn't because... The, the stairway upstairs had a door in front of it. So the biggest part, which was the, the, the back of the bed, the, the, the head, headrest, because that had the nightstands attached to it. And it was too long to make the turn up the stairs. Was it so alive? We, so we literally had to saw out a, a, a pillar in the windows of the bedroom then have someone standing on the truck who was delivering it someone standing on uh, uh half outside the roof to pick up the piece and can, can i interrupt you for just a second what did you think the question was <laughs> the biggest thing <laughs> the biggest creature creature, oh, creature. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, I... <laughs> I thought he was going to get to the creature <laughs> <laughs> Peter and his stories, you know what they're like. <laughs> I mean, this is this is early in the morning for me, so speak <laughs> slowly and clearly. Peter, is it not twenty to four where you are? Is it not yeah, twenty to four? Yeah, I, I will. I will second that, Dave, because I've had quite a lot to drink. It is. It is twenty to four where I am, but I'm. I've been up all night doing shit, and so <laughs> this is early in the morning for me now. If you've been doing shit all night, Petey, you should probably take some um, anti-diuretics for that. Uh, I... <laughs> let's let's not get into the shit that I did, because <laughs> <laughs> then then this is going to be become an X-rated show, and better not. I'm fairly <laughs> certain it's nothing but that, to be quite honest. Um, math pig. Humans so don't a count. Twenty-five stone drunk man doesn't count. No. <laughs> Probably a bird or a cat. How big a bird? I've got to, I've got to ask because a bird is mine as well. Uh, not a robin's more so than anything else, but it's slightly bigger than a robin. I wouldn't know birds that much. Would we go finch? Maybe a finch? I don't know. I've had a pigeon. I was going to say pigeon. A pigeon. Yeah, I've, we, had a pigeon. Shoot shoot I've had a pigeon. I've had. I've had a two foot tall seagull. Uh, the funny thing is, oh, is that's pretty impressive. one morning Actually, my daughter runs into, r r walks, runs in and wakes me up and goes, the, the, "There's something at the top of the stairs." <laughs> what do you mean something? It's, 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 it's a seagull. <laughs> just, just, the seagull stood there seagull. looking. <laughs> Dave, I've got, an, I've got another question. Uh, can it also be an animal that I got out of an, another building? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, assuming uh, you're not talking about, you know, a pigsty. No, no, no. no I'm, so, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about a cock. Uh, a yours? penis? A rooster. <laughs> Where did you a get rooster. the rooster from? But a, a, a small one, not 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 a usual size. I don't know what what they call those in in English. We have we have a special name for that here. Well, but we had we had one, and it got out, and so we chased it. Uh, through the gardens of the street that was behind our street and we ended up chasing it all the way to a church which just had opened for service and it went into the church so imagine I was I think 13 14 at the time I had a bunch of kids from our street helping me chase down the the, the, the cock and so all of us went into the church. It was awesome. There was a guy <laughs> preaching, and then a bunch of kids stormed in. And in the middle of the aisle, there was a cock. <laughs> it was 
Battling it. <laughs> Having heard Peter say he had to chase down a cock, it just makes this the best show ever, Dave. <laughs> chasing, a, chasing a cock in a church. <laughs> You're chasing cock with, in the church. With you were trying out for the priesthood, were you? <laughs> no, I, I agree. I, 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 a bunch of children chasing a cock in a church. <laughs> now we're demoralized. Now we're. Yeah. Now we're <laughs> Can I use can I use Pete's story as my own? <laughs> <laughs> that depends whether or not you've done it too. No, like I, no, just because I think it really sounds really great, and I have no really story <laughs> of my own. <laughs> if, I, if I can adopt Pete's story, you can just say really I got, make I got a bigger cock. <laughs> as far as I can find. <laughs> It really it covers it all, so mm. I'm good with that. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> Jen. Oh, me. Okay. Uh, it depends. Am I allowed to mention? Am I allowed to pick pets, or does it have to be an animal that I didn't know? No, it can't be a pet. Okay. Well, it could be a pet if it ended up in a church and you had to get it out of the church. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um. I, it's uh, in my case, and it's a pigeon, and it was brought into the house by my cat. Brought in alive, dumped in my bedroom, and then after that, the cat came up and waked me the fuck up, all proud of itself that it had put this pigeon in my room, which then took me an hour to catch and put back outside. Oh, oh, you paint you paint cats in such a bad light, right? <laughs> I don't know how it got the pigeon in alive. That's what I don't get. I mean, this thing must have been going off its fucking head about being dragged inside the house. <laughs> yeah, it won't kill it. It's an offering. Yeah, yeah it's an offering. You've got to kill it. it alive. Your cat will be very disappointed that you didn't kill it. Correct. Oh, no, it was really pissed off that I took the, caught this pigeon and put it back outside. <laughs> it, it just wouldn't. It, it pissed off for a whole day and didn't come and see me at all. Well, it yeah, gave you a gift day. and you <laughs> gave it away. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was not impressed. So? It did the same thing with a mouse once. It brought in a mouse that it had decapitated and dumped it on my lap. And I fucking, I hate mice and rats. And I absolutely, I, I was using my laptop on my lap at the time. And I fucking panicked, dropped the laptop on the floor and cracked the fucking screen. So I was not happy. Good kitty, good kitty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, cat. <laughs> Cats are brutal. Seraphim's yes. cats brought oh, in. Yeah. Seraph no, my cat. Seraphim's cats brought in a live chipmunk, a squirrel, birds, lizards. That's a cat. That's a cat. That's a cat. Yeah, alive. That's the bit that fucks me, that really pisses me off. Because it really alive. loves you. <laughs> she has a tracker oh, yeah. on her cat. She right. has a tracker. Seraphim has a tracker on her cat and can actually look at her phone and see where the cat's been during the day. Because she recent, well, a while ago she lost one, so she tracked all the rest of them. You should see where this cat goes. It really does go up into the trees and everywhere and all around. It's not surprising it brings back that many. Oh, oh my oh, friend's shit. cat dropped a mouse in his mouth. That. Yeah, cats. Oh, are, oh cats that's are fucked up. <laughs> the cats are killers. They're killers. Yeah. Uh, cat. I, I've got a story to go with that. Um, my my parents, um, we had a cousin of ours who um, lived in a different town, but ended up working for one of my brother-in-laws, getting an apprenticeship as a butcher. He was living in our house, and he woke up one morning with these maggots dropping on his mouth, and it was because the cats had killed a rat above the air vent in the roof, Ugh. and it was right above where he was, and it was just dropping down on his face. Damn. <laughs> Terrible. That is just great. It's not good. Sal. Well, uh, I was gonna say pigeon, but um, I have um, I had to get a raccoon out of somebody's house once. <laughs> yeah. Did, oh, did, did they, wait, did they make a video nasty. about it? Huh? Did they make a video about it? No, no, no. This is way before videos. This <laughs> is way before telephones. Yeah. Um. You're not that old, Sal. Stuck underneath the um. Not, I guess it was stuck, or yeah, I don't want to say it was stuck, but it got stuck under the like the the, the porch area, mm. and it, oh. it, yeah, and it got kind of desperate. It started digging its way into the house because it couldn't go any other way, so we had to kind of we had yeah we, we we dressed up like in as much layers as we could, thinking it might bite us and give us rain. We, <laughs> we had some brooms, we kind of like cleared a path for it, and it just jetted out. It was funny. 
it, it was funnier getting ready to get it out than it was. We were kids. We didn't know what the hell we were doing. That, that, that's how I. That's how I dress for spiders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave any spider alone in the house. I, me and spiders can live together all day. Yeah, yeah, I run out of the house and get Caroline to deal with them. Mm. Oh. Me and spiders really? do not get on. Oh, you wuss. Spiders <laughs> protect. They, they, they are. It's one of those you things. You can't live in Australia and be and be that scared of spiders. You, ju it's just not going to work. <laughs> yeah, my my fiance from Australia, ex fiance, um, she was she was worse than me. But when really? we when we lived That's in Aldershot, just... we had these spiders that were that were that they were indoor spiders, but they were huge. Um, scared of spiders. And we 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 yeah, had to get other people to come in to kill them. Is that really? a specific species in the That's, that's nuts. Tarantula. <laughs> so she was like, my my eldest daughter is absolutely completely paranoid of them. Um, she walked under a um, a door frame once and looked up and saw a great big um, huntsman spider. And some of these can get, get as big as dinner plates with their legs and everything. Mm -hmm. And she spent the next hour screaming about it. It was like. She couldn't calm her down. She was that freaked out because she walked underneath this spider. Oddly <laughs> enough, it's one of those things that it very demonstrates that it was learnt because I never used to be afraid of spiders. It, it was something I got from being around my sister because she was very freaked out by them. And it, it, oh. it heightened my tension every time she reacted. Also, it got you more freaked out about yeah. them. Yeah, you can't oh, wow. be afraid of bugs. Why are you afraid of a bug? It's like a little tiny insect. It's, it's, it's just an yeah. abstract, completely irrational fear. No, certain bugs will kill you. I'm, I'm careful with wasps and certain Yeah, but nothing things. here is going to kill me. Where? I'm more likely to kill myself with the fucking hoover. Oh, yeah. Trying to hoover course. it up than I am with the spider. Yeah. One of our cats is arachnophobic. Um, it's hilarious because when he was a kitten, he um, had we had a um, huntsman that was you know semi plate size in the house, and he decided he would go and attack it, and it jumped on his face, and he ended up spending like fifteen minutes running around the house with this fucking spider on his face, and he's been paranoid about spiders ever since. Um, you know, most cats will try and kill things by biting them. If he sees a spider, he tries to smack it to death with his paw. It's fucking hilarious. It's the funniest thing you've ever seen, and he's absolutely terrified of. <laughs> it's like, oh, spider, spider, spider! It's we just funny used to have a Jack Russell and a Terrier prior to now. Yeah. And the, the Terrier loved cats, loved to chase them, but loved to play with them. And cats knew this. Yeah. They weren't afraid of him. They didn't. Right. And the Jack Russell, we didn't realise this till the other one got old. Right. The Jack Russell used to bark and the uh, cats were scared of it. Okay, so whenever they'd see a cat and they were out, they'd basically run and chase it. And if, if, if the Jack Russell was with us, the cat would stop and talk to the bigger one. And if the Jack Russell was with us, then the, the cat would just run away. Anyway, so we went for a walk. Yeah. After, there, when there's, it, there's a flaw in that story. Because you did not, did. Did not have did. Jack Russell and a terrier. Because in that case, you just have two terriers. Two terriers, yes. Now I know why Dave falls asleep. <laughs> that, that's what you found strange. I found, what did they say to each other? <laughs> they just talked to each other. Really weird. The cat. They, they, you couldn't explain it any, any other way. They'd stop and they'd talk to each other. They'd spend about a minute talking to each other and they'd go off on their own. It was oh, really surreal. So yes. <laughs> right. And there's various cats in the neighbourhood. Right. Oh, anyway, when the when the big one got old, the big terrier got old. We just walked. We we only walked him once a day, but we walked the other one multiple times a day. Uh, and we met one of the cats. And she and and so she runs up barking. No 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 no. Right, and the and the cat decided. Wait, wait, wait. What's that sound again? You made. <laughs> 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 okay. Runs up. Right, going to chase this cat, but Was that the cat a barking dis sound that yes. I heard. I didn't hear a barking sound. Did, you hear a bar Did anyone hear a barking? Sound, <laughs> sound was like. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well, it was like very high pitched. Effect, um, quiplash. <laughs> right. Anyway. <laughs> The point is, the cat decided not to run. The cat decided, well, as soon as the dog got anywhere near it, the cat decided to run towards it. The Jack Russell ran off with its tail between its legs. It turns out that all this time, the cat, has, the Jack Russell has been terrified of cats. <laughs> it's just that because it was always with the big dog, the, the big terrier, it oh. was brave. 
It was only when it got its on its own, we got it on its own with a cat that it re that we realised. Oh wow! <laughs> That's quite fun. Cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% convinced the current one's not scared of cats. She's very small. Pod's not afraid of fucking anything. He's an asshole. He takes anything on. The, care. the largest, the largest Alsatian we've got is terrified of everything. Absolutely terrified of everything. It will. It, it quite likes. It quite likes to bark when you've got it on a lead and it can't go anywhere. But if there is a I, noise, I, I it runs. Not. We'll put you on a lead, and we'll see that, how that, far you that go. That reminds me, my, my my ex once bought a dog that was afraid of grass because it was, <laughs> it, was, it was kept it was kept in an apartment building and only got to get out on the balcony, so it never knew what grass was. And then mm. we got it, and the dog was walking with its legs, <laughs> and it's sitting down to pee and standing up and. What the hell is this? Yeah, it didn't even know what, what the ground was. Right. Yeah, I, What's I used to have a rough collie that was afraid of heights. Um, we didn't. I didn't find out until I took him took him for a walk, and did went on one of those walkovers over the top of a main highway. Got all the way up to the top of it, and he looked down, and he he just pancaked on the top of this thing, and I had to <laughs> fucking pick him up, and he's a he was a decent sized dog and carry him down the other side because he wouldn't move. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hey, dude, you got any other questions? Come on. Yeah, we're going to go to the next one. Yeah, more questions. Come on, Dave. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I know you got questions. Come on. I don't. Absolutely no more. Right. I sent you a picture in Discord there as well, Dave, if you've seen that one. Oh, I have not went there. Yeah, see? Oh bloody hell! Is that yours? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did you send? <laughs> I would agree with you. Now I would not. I don't mind spiders, right? But I don't like to show my fears in front of the child. And mm. she wanted the fucking tarantula out of the box, and the woman took it out of the box and handed it to me. And I was just like, right, okay, I'll just stand here then. <laughs> <laughs> you did the right thing. You did the right <laughs> thing, yeah, pig. It's a tarantula running up my arm. Holy shit. That's fucking scary. <laughs> it wasn't fucking very comfortable. <laughs> you tarantula? What's your problem? <laughs> ah. Just a little wee one. Just a little oh, wee one. Just <laughs> a baby. We went back a year later and she wouldn't even go into the reptile room. She was petrified of everything. After spending a fucking year with, my, uh, with fucking Don and showing her all her fears, she wouldn't even go into the damn reptile house the second year. That oh, wow. So insane. 